I have a movie project that is going to blow your mind. I call it Jefferson. A, a movie version of the Jeffersons? I love it. I... No, Thomas Jefferson. I just recently found out that he went to town on one of my ancestors, so we're related. You want to play Thomas Jefferson? And Sally Hemings and King George. I'm going to play all the parts. Did you know he had a lisp? Oh, what's up, stupid jerks? I'm Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> so we're going to need about $35 million to do this thing right. I pitched my Jefferson movie to Don Geis. He said no. He said people only see movies because of the previews. And he couldn't visualize my Jefferson preview. He wants me to do Fat Bitch 2 instead. Well, that doesn't even make sense. Everyone knows Fat Bitch died at the end. It's not the kind of stuff I want to do anymore, Ken. I want to be taken seriously. What should I do? Well, remember when Fat Bitch called all her dog friends together and they used their high-pitched howling to mess up the miss- You're right, Kay. I should make my own Jefferson preview and show it to Don Geis. I'm never going to finish this bikini before Nana's birthday. Hey. This is Lemon, where are you going? Uh, at home. I gotta go get ready for a dinner with Jack. Listen, I'm gonna need to make a fake trailer for my Jefferson film. I'm gonna need the entire resources of the show for no more than three weeks. You in? No, what? No. Tracy, you're not doing that. We have a show on Friday. This is Lemon, you are my Alexander Hamilton. I don't know what that means. Writers, listen. I need your help. <gasps> Hey, Liz Lemon, uh, could you go away for a while? I gotta get rid of Freddie's erection. Now explain what is happening here. Freddie is playing a part of Thomas Jefferson's horse, Caractacus. And we needed a place to keep him till we shoot his stunts. No, Tracy, I told you not to do this. Jack said I could. This movie is my destiny. It's the reason why God put me on this earth. <sighs> Take you off this earth. Yo, Trey. We got a problem. Bray, who be this Tracy Jordan thou speakest of? Uh, President Jefferson, we got a problem. Speakest? That horse ate your wig. Well, stand guard by his rump and await it in his droppings. Or we could probably just go get a new wig. Ah, I like you, young man. You shall run my university. I know we disagreed on my next movie project, but I hope this will change your mind. I give you this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah! Hold that dirt. Put your back into it. Mr. Jefferson, the British have invaded. Ah! Bring me my horse! Bring me Caractacus! You come along! In a world without hope. Ah, oh, these Americans with their ridiculous ideas of freedom and equality. One man would declare his independence for us all. He was a writer. Eat that, King George! Inventor. I shall call it Susan. Jungle fever haver. I'm with child. What? You free me and make me your wife? Um, I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. Source Award nominee, Tracy Jordan. Kill them! Ah, kill them all! NAACP Image Award presenter, Tracy Jordan. And Academy Award watcher, Tracy Jordan, is... This is for you, Don, guys! <laughs> Jefferson. Christmas 2008. Get me off this horse. Well, Mr. Geis, what do you think? Well, Tracy... That was terrible. The answer is no. Let's talk about fat bitch, too. Sir? He said no. Then he offered me $7 million to reprise my role as Coco the dog. I'm going to get an iPhone. Everybody's going to be jealous. No, I turned him down. It's like a roller coaster ride of emotion in here. Look, Thomas Jefferson made his own country. I'm gonna make my own movie, financing myself all on my terms. Now, who's with me? We all are, sir. Good, good, good. Now, first order of business, get that dead horse out of my car.